Okay. Oh, no, 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 I just, I just kidding. Mom be mad. I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Morning. Storms got here a little earlier than expected. Uh, last night, we caught 1.7 here at the farm. I think, they, think it's a pretty small area, but... It's still forecasting pretty severe, so I am gonna take, put that in the shed. And they gotta see how much it rained. I mean, you gotta go drive around and run up roads and stuff like that, right? A little bit of water ran here. I didn't plant that on purpose, but I knew it was gonna rain like this. Yeah, yeah, I just knew it was gonna. Man, that cloud is still going at it. So here's my dilemma. Do I spend the money on hail insurance or not spend that money? I don't know. What's going through my mind? So we're on a little road trip today, the family. Hi, hi. Got myself an Uber driver today. My camera will turn. There we go. <laughs> driver now <laughs> so we are going down to George Montana and we are gonna pick up our processed beef from the packer and uh, the beef is coming from a good friend of ours that ranches down um, in Sand Springs Montana area but we'll show you a few of the attractions around Fort Peck and kind of a drive down to Jordan and down some pretty uh, pretty cool little terrain you're gonna see. This is also the same road that I take when we're hauling hay. Or when we're hauling hay down to Brown Ranch and it just happens to be that's the one we're getting the beef from. So check it out. decide to put hail coverage on the crop. Fort Peck Lake has more miles of shoreline than the coast of California. So here's the actual dam we're coming up to here. It's 250 feet tall and four miles long I think. Something like that. It has a lot of dirt. And all that dirt was dredged and pumped up here from down below along the river down here. So 
all that wider river channel was all all been relocated from there up to here. Dam's been here since the early 40s, I believe. We got back from town a little while ago, and they pretty much have everything. <laughs> nice, perfect timing. They got everything put away except for Dad's blue truck. That has been hailed on once before, so we're not too concerned about that one. But clouds are moving in. Let's take a look. uneventful storm thankfully uh, no hail that I know of yet but a uh, little wind and a lot of rain another eight tenths so we're gonna go check some crops right mm -hmm. so this winter wheat just headed a couple weeks ago it's done flowering now and this rain couldn't been time better it's gonna fill the kernels real nice now for the most part the leaves look pretty healthy there is a little bit of some yellow stripe, yellow spots on the leaves. It's not stripe rust, just some tan spot, but. What are these tall things called? They're beards. I'm not really sure what they're there for. You think maybe keep some insects away from the seeds? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? There's beardless wheat though too. That's usually used for hay because this stuff is like pretty jagged. Like if you run your fingers down, it sticks. So if cows eat that, it sticks inside their mouth and their throat and they don't like it. Hmm. Pretty interesting, huh? Yes. There's lots of interesting, interesting things to see on the farm. And that's right. And lots of interesting crops. Lots of crops. What crops do we farm? Wheat. Did you do canola? We we'll have lots of canola, yeah. Lentils? No lentils this year. Oh. I don't know. Peas, wheat, a little bit of durum, winter wheat, and some alfalfa. Sound about right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, should we go check some more crops? Yeah. All right, let's go. What's Dora say? Bominos? Bominos explore. <laughs> Almost to your knees. Yeah, it's going to stretch out a little more yet. So this is the first winter wheat field we seeded. And we had really good moisture when the crop was growing early and then it got dry for a month. So the head size is all there. That is determined when the plant is really young, how big the head is gonna be. The height is short though, which is all right because we don't need to deal with a whole lot of stubble. But uh, the yield now with all the rain, it should feel really good, but uh, and it's gonna stretch out maybe another little bit yet, so. What do you think, Aaliyah? It's really tall. It's really tall? Yeah. Is it tickling your legs? To me it is. <laughs> yeah. Lots of heads. This should, this should be a big crop. Here's a little bit of uh, some leaf disease. This does have fungicide sprayed on all of it here a couple days ago. Found some more spots, Aaliyah? Yeah. Yeah. This one right here. So this has been protected. That fungus should not grow anymore. Good looking crop. Real excited about harvest this year now. A week ago we were worried if we were gonna have much of a harvest at all and it's been raining and God's blessed us with a lot of rain. Mm-hmm. I wonder how long it had taken for it in one row. You might be here a while. I'll pick you up in two hours. See ya! No. So this canola starts out a super small small uh, seed 
makes these huge plants. And these are the cotyledons, the first batch of leaves that'll come out. And then the leaves will get, this one's been kind of chewed up by insects and stuff. It's all these holes in the leaves are from. Like it's this big. Well, yep, the leaves will get bigger and start stretching out. And then right here is the bolt. This is gonna bolt and you can see that one there is getting a little taller. And in a week, this is gonna be a completely yellow field and it'd probably be at least three foot tall. It's a butterfly. Butterflies flying, yep, they like, those are cabbage butterflies, they like the canola. <laughs> this field was sprayed uh, Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, it's your Tuesday, so. It's a mare's tail is dying down, some pigeon grass, a few different weeds, so. Looks like a pretty good crop right now. And that's good, she says. I agree. If we don't get any hail, we have a hard time fitting it in the bins, which is the best problem you can have farming. <laughs> Too much grain for your bins? We're shooting for every year. Can't you just put them in the air seeders? No, those wouldn't hold much. But what have we done before? Uh, remember that big pile that was over here a couple years ago? Did you guys got to play in? Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we'll put grain on the ground not fun to do but it is kind of fun to do and these guys like to play with them yep. they like to climb all over them my mom's not real happy when they get all dirty is she <laughs> no. no all right so tonight we got one more chance of severe weather so we'll see how we uh fare by tomorrow morning so we were at the theater tonight and on the way home, we stopped by some friends to uh, wait the storm out. And supposedly there's a tornado on the ground somewhere up here, so quite the lightning show. storms we managed I think to miss all the hail but there is one farm up north that we're not sure about yet the climate corp app did give us a hail warning up there and at the east farm but neighbors said they didn't have much hail there so you doing Natalie I don't know. Just with you. were you asleep during all the storms yeah. you missed them all yeah, I can oh. see the lightning. You saw some lightning though? Well, that's good. Yeah. We did dump out about three and a quarter inches of rain in the last three mornings. So that is like crazy. It's usually all of our June and July rain for the year. We've gotten three consecutive nights totaled up. So time to get a few things out of the uh, shop. Like we need a few, need a side by side, a couple things like that out of there. So. That's the plan. Probably go look at some fields here. There's a lot of water sitting in some fields. I'll go throw the drone in the air after a little bit. But yeah, thankful, uh, thankful for the protection from the storm. We did a lot of winds, even some tornado warnings. But uh, yeah, God kept us safe. Thankful for that, right, Natalie? Yep. Yep. Wait, Natalie. Uh -huh. How how did they get this in here? Don't know. Whoa. 
I'm confused, are you? Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. That thing moves in the center, doesn't it? Do you not know that? No. Oh, huh, let's check it out. So a little background story. Um, I went to welding college for Voitec and came back to the farm and we wanted to build some hoppers. So I'm talking hoppers like these underneath the grain bins and had a few employees for about three years and we built some 24 foot, 21 and 18 foot cones. Well, this wouldn't be in the way for our larger cones because they, this, these doors are 20 foot wide. So did a little engineering and that whole thing will slide out of the way. So we'll move it out of the way and show you guys. Yeah. So there's three pins to pull out. There's one long one that goes to the top and two in the bottom. So we'll just push this sideways. Here, why don't you take the camera? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's how you get a 30 foot header and a 20 foot door. We're just walking around the edge of the yard here, right, right behind the yard. And these peas, two weeks ago, you could see dirt between the rows and they were looking pretty droughty. Last weekend we got a good inch of rain. And then this three and a quarter-ish, 3.2, whatever it ended up being. Last few nights has really got these peas to take off. But uh, here, we even got a few pods starting. Can you eat them? No, you can't eat them yet. They're gonna feel pretty good. The temperatures are supposed to be nice and cool for the next while and uh, all this moisture, they're really gonna take off. So these peas are basically look a lot like a garden pea you might see in your own garden. And there's always two pairs of pods. So there's always two blooms. And if you look in here, there's more, just more and more and more coming out. So these peas could get to be another foot taller yet if the temperature stays right and just really load up with pods. So, very thankful for this crop. Wasn't looking very good here a week ago, week and a half ago, and things really have turned around. What do you think, Natalie? Mm -hmm. No, no? Pretty thankful for the rain, too? Yeah. Yeah? We can jump in puddles, though. Jump in puddles? We'll go jump in one. I have shorts on. And... Okay. Oh, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 